Let's make sure we're coming in live. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is January 4th, 2021. It's 8 a.m. PST, Pacific Time, West Coast, Canada, United States. And um, kick it up eight hours. So we're around 4 p.m. UK time. And uh, earlier today, we got a decision regarding Julian Assange's extradition. And that is what this live stream is about. We're doing a live stream open discussion on Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. This is part 11, and it's an open discussion on the extradition. And uh, the decision that came down was basically the judge came out and said that they will not be extraditing Julian Assange to the United States because uh, the prison system, the industrial incarceration system in the United States is so brutal that anyone with ill health, physical, mental, is in danger of being killed. I guess murdered dying uh, because of the system so according to UK law they will not be able to extradite Julian Assange to the United States because the conditions are too horrendous for the UK to send anyone uh, to prison in the United States of America okay now we're gonna wait until uh, notifications go out on discord and twitch uh, for people to pop in because I know there's been a lot of people um, that have wanted that are waiting for this uh, discussion uh, Elder God how are you doing go team go team sly wolf I teach you hope you're well doing well doing good today um, in general I try to do good every day but today's uh, news regarding Julian Assange is a win and a loss at the same time right so i'm just uh, you know i gave the little intro for people watching this video after the fact or listening to this audio on uh, soundcloud spotify itunes whatever podcasting platform they're using because we are recording this on the cloud mic as well right uh but basically the decision right now is julian assange will not be extradited eduardo how are we doing free assange free assange free assange right now right uh, he's not going to his death. He's not going to his death, but he's been tortured. He's been uh, uh, basically uh, imprisoned for 10 years and tortured for a number of years. Uh, so it is cause to celebrate for sure because he's not going to be handed to the, to the monsters, right? Uh, in, a, in an incarceration system that is like this that's what the announcement is the u.s incarceration system is so horrendous that united states greatest ally cannot justly extradite a person to that system like that's what the decision is unbelievable right unbelievable uh that says a lot about the united states graham how are you doing Hope you're doing well. Feline juice. Good morning. Good morning. On Charter Days, H E Cho Chat. Hope you are well. You guys as well, man. You guys as well. Think Bobber. He's on Soy Side. Why? Yeah, that's what it was. Because um, <clears throat> what's happened is, uh, from what I understand, there's there there is a history of suicide in Julian Assange's family. I'm not sure how deep that goes. That's just something I crossed my wire, right? Uh, and obviously. Uh, the UN repertoire, uh, Nils, um, here, let me, uh, <coughs> uh, Nils, uh, the UN, UN repertoire for uh, torture, um, when they investigated him, uh, did their investigation, they found out that, yeah, he was being tortured and he was extremely depressed and there was a risk of suicide, right? So he is on suicide watch for sure. Um, do I believe that Julian Assange will commit suicide? If he was going to be extradited to the United States and there was no hope that you were 
you were going to be handed over to people that in the last two decades has been revealed that they tortured children as young as 14 years old they tortured people to death um, teenagers adults uh, they 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 conduct horrendous horrendous acts that you have been charged for revealing to the world um, what would you do what would you do right Goody six how are you doing hey chicho hope your morning has been great it's been pretty good it's been pretty good but very i'm i'm pissed off to a certain degree because uh, the U uk court system didn't just come out judicial system didn't just come out and spit in the uh us's um justice department or whoever these monsters are that want to extradite julian assange spit in their faces and say get lost there is no jurisdiction here you have no case you cannot extradite and persecute prosecute torture assassinate a, a journalist because they reveal your war crimes right my question is which government in the world is willing to do that right which government in the world is willing to stand up to the united states of america and the uk and these monsters that run our world right now uh, because whichever country that is julian assange needs to go there if when he is released my bet would be for him to go to uh iceland because iceland has proven that they stand on the side of free speech open internet and uh, they prosecute uh, wall street criminals right nicholas how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream what up bud what up <laughs> got it good good to be back good to have you back nicholas hello all mr hezekiah how are you doing twitching jason morning uh saw the update this morning the news is good i think right it, it is good for julian assange and all of us that were supporting julian assange for him to be freed right it is good news cause to celebrate right it's 8 a.m in the morning right now i'm drinking tea okay salute salute if julian assange had walked out of prison today i'd be drinking something a little heavier okay if the judge had come out and said that the united states can go fuck itself and free julian assange you'd see me with, me with my party hat on and would be at my liqueur cabinet and we'd be doing a live stream for 10 hours okay that's where we are right now if the judge had come out and said yeah we're going to extradite julian assange it was an it was a non-situation because it was going to be appealed and this is still going to be appealed for the united states side as well right padre 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 fantastic news he won't be extradited disappointed it was because of suicide watch and not because he was correct in publishing info indeed i agree with you padre j thomas 2000 i chicho this is a really interesting topic indeed cheryl good morning good morning uh it's a it's a hopeful day it is a hopeful day that's the best way of putting it cheryl it's a hopeful day all right and for that it's cause to celebrate right i bring death day chicho not feeling too well today glad to be here glad to have you uh i bring death maybe you should bring peace <laughs> it'll make you feel better brother <laughs> Padre. yeah i am feeling the same way they took the easy way out yeah and they left the door open for the united states to try to do the same thing to any other journalist in the world right uh, what uh, really just imagine if every country in the world bows down to the united states when they try to extradite journalists why would any country do this because most countries are controlled by centralized institutions and those centralized institutions just like the united states which is a centralized controlled oligarchy right was not happy about what julian assange and wikileaks had revealed right 
uh, all the leaks coming to them, revealing their war crimes. So centralized states would say, you know what, let's hand them over to the United States. That will set a precedence in our country as well that we're not going to stand by while citizens of a country reveal our crimes, right? Done with the funds and in the name of the citizens of that country. The whole thing's totally twisted, totally messed up, right? Totally messed up. How do you think it will play out if when the US appeals? The US will appeal, it, it basically, here, I'll read your comment made by, uh, and this was the best comment, one of the best comments, by Ke Kevin Costanza, right? And I'll let me give you the Twitter link for it, uh, copy link location. This is what he said, right? The United States government's mass incarceration system just lost them their case against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange right and that is 100 percent what happened basically the judge came out and said look man and that's the wiki uh, that's the twitter uh link that i just said basically the judge came out and said look even though i i'm, I'm paid by the united states government and he she is right like the way she conducted herself during this whole trial was horrendous she should be removed from power and put on a bad naughty list and kicked out of the uk for treason really right that judge is horrendous 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 the way she conducted herself right even she her that was the paid lackey of the uk government and the united states special interest groups the oligarchs right the deep state even she couldn't extradite Julian Assange to the United States. She even came out and said, look, man, look, your system is so effing bad, so horrendous, right? Then we can't even send someone to your country uh, that you want sent, that I'm willing to send because I'm your paid lackey. I just can't even do that because your system's just completely collapsed. You guys are treating people, human beings like garbage right you're torturing them to death there is no uh, there is no mental health there is no rehabilitation you you you've been sh it's been shown throughout history that your prison system completely abuses its incarcerated population assassinates them at times executes them for no damn reason right it for it, it executes people that are even uh, even known to be innocent people right that's what she said like i live in canada our prison system is pretty horrendous here but if julian assange canadian government was trying to if the whole circus the show trial was going on from the canadian side the judge couldn't say oh i can't we can't send julian assange to canada because your prison system's so damn horrendous that it, i can't even do that for you right if Canada was doing this, Julian Assange would have been extradited to Canada, right? That's how horrendous the U.S. system is, right? From what I understand, uh, on Wednesday, uh, two days from now, the or I think the 15th, uh, January 15th, I think, I think it's the end date for the U.S. to appeal the decision, okay? They've already stated that they're going to appeal, but by all accounts, appeal is going to be uh, rejected, right? we don't know yet uh, no other god i wouldn't go to russia uh, even though uh, snowden is there right if julian assange goes to russia then he will have to uh, agree not to do journalism or be involved with wikileaks anymore there will be little caveats in there saying okay we'll take you in but you be a good boy and you're going to be sitting and just raise your kids and that's what julian assange might want to do if i was in julian assange's situation gang i, I will all honestly tell you i would come out and say thank you everyone that supported me and all this jazz uh, uh, however i am extremely disappointed that tens of millions of people did not go into the streets and shut down their governments to prevent a journalist that revealed war crimes of your government to be persecuted the way i was right and i am exhausted right if i was julian Assange, he, he would say look i am exhausted i have given you all i can and i was willing to give you my life and i have been 
and I've been, you know, been able to slip through the cracks, right? I'm out. Up to you to do what you need to do. Okay. Hopefully he makes bail. Bail should he should have been let out right away, as far as I'm concerned. Can we expect them to be out of chains anytime soon? Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. But Estella, Julian Assange's partner, made a statement. I've been following this thing since morning, uh, since like, I don't know, 4 o'clock, uh, 3.30. I've been following this stuff going on. Um, Estella, Julian Assange's partner, came out and said, it, it, we, we didn't win, right? But it is cost to celebration, basically. But we didn't win because every journalist in the world is still in danger. The truth is in danger. Governments are being allowed to commit war crimes, horrendous acts on humanity, right? And they're getting away with it. Okay. Ding Bobber Chicho, I've done Julian Assange ever gets what what you want for him. The celebration stream uh would be so legendary. It would be legendary. It would be legendary. My harvest would be out from the summer. Right. Grant Chicho, maybe I've I've watched too many movies. But what is the chance that they just let him go and then he has an accident? Uh, Graham, no, you haven't watched too many movies. Julian Assange, when he's freed, right, he will be under permanent surveillance by the security state, by totalitarian governments that we have, and they will try to execute him. Okay, they will try to execute him. According to Hillary Clinton, she came out. And the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, the both, they were like, can't we drone this guy? Right? Julian Assange's life is in danger forever until until his passing. As well as his children's, by the way. Because we know that governments of the world have, if they can't get a hold of the parents, the people responsible or the people that they want to execute, they execute their children. Okay, we know this, right? And this is not hearsay, this is not a conspiracy. Obama droned the 14 or 15, 16, a child in Yemen because they were trying to execute his dad. The Obama administration, okay, look this up. And he was an American citizen, by the way. So the Obama administration executed, assassinated a child with a drone sitting in a cafe with other children on a table in Yemen because they were going after his father. Okay. So Julian Assange's children, Julian Assange's partner, partner, may also be executed by the United States of America, okay, or another interested party. So their lives are in danger forever, okay, unless, unless we in the Western world, okay, arrest and prosecute all the war criminals in our midst, okay. We need to arrest and prosecute all the war criminals in the United States, in the UK, in France, in Canada, in Europe, the ones that we have control over, right? People will come out and say, oh, what about this country? What about those countries? What about, what about China? What about Russia? What about this? What about that? We don't have control over that. I don't anyway. And most of the people here don't. But we have a say in our governments, right? So Graham, I don't think you've watched too many movies. I think you're speaking the truth. The United States will try to execute Julian Assange, and they have already tried to execute Julian Assange. The party had, uh, <laughs> for me, the party had to start laughing. <laughs> Seriously, guy, yeah, that would be amazing. And uh, by the way, gang, I'm sorry if I'm way the chat's like pretty busy, um, so I'm not caught up to chat. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll down, gang. Uh, 
and I'm going to see if there's anything directed towards me. If there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. There's conversations uh, taking place between people. Chicho, uh, so Ding Bob or Chicho, what is what if what if Assange came to Canada as a thought experiment? No, Canada would extradite him to the United States. Canada, we our government here is basically you know trash talking Canadian government, but uh, truth is the truth. We do whatever the United States wants us to do in general right irrelevant if they're republican or democrat or whoever right 80 percent of uh, our exports go to the united states of america right canada has tried to diversify from that but it's just a geography of it right and we we haven't had a government in canada that stood up to the united states for a very 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 long time uh, and it's about dying time we did right but yeah they would extradite him they extradited can canadian government extradited a citizen that sold cannabis seeds to the u.s right cannabis seeds seeds of a plant right they extradited that person mark emery to the united states right they canadian government handed over right a, a canadian citizen to the United States and they helped extradite him to Syria for the Syrian government to torture on behest of the United States right that's how you know where Canadian government stands just to let you know and every Canadian knows this right CK Fisher something isn't adding up why is the UK now trying to keep Assange when they fought so hard to get him out of the Ecuadorian embassy because look the UK the spotlight is on the UK all right if Julian Assange if the UK government extradites Julian Assange to the United States it, it, it might be the straw that broke the camel's back right it might be the straw that broke the camel's back However, the United States just handed the U.S. government a gift, right? They said, okay, like, there's no way we could extradite them there. Like, it'll, it'll break the U.K., right? But they didn't say the charges are bogus. Julian Assange had the right as a journalist to publish these, this information, right? What they did was they used sort of a asterisk saying oh we can't send them send them there because he's on suicide suicide watch and in the u.s prison system you you don't you don't have the infrastructure the safety net there to treat prisoners in this type of situation adequately right so they're playing politics right they're not extraditing julian assange but they left the door open for the u.s government to pr prosecute any journalist that they want in the UK anyway right so if I was a real journalist in the UK if this thing is not resolved where it goes to appeals and it's it comes out saying that journalists cannot be extradited to the United States government based on US espionage act and crap like this then um most journalists in the uk I, I, I can't really see any journalist if they were able to do this to julian assange the most famous journalist the most well-respected journalist the most important journalist and publisher the world has seen ever if they were able to do this to julian assange what can they do to joe blow that starts publishing the truth right if i was in the uk a journalist in the uk i would wait to see what happens with julian assange if i was sitting on something hot right i would wait to see what happens with julian assange i would wait to see which country julian assange decides to go to where he believes he will be protected both from extradition and assassination right and i would try to get citizenship in that country move to that country and then publish my work right that's where we are right now which is a ridiculous place to be okay if we as citizens of the world 
want to know what's going on, right? If we want to have a control over our lives, that's where we are right now, right? And just a reminder, gang, if you don't know who Julian Assange is, Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. Okay, and we do have a Julian Assange playlist on our YouTube channel, and a lot of those videos are uploaded to our Bitchu channel, and uh, you can get caught up with everything that we've covered so far, because uh, we've jumped right into it, right? Nick, uh, I'm scrolling down, gang, just to see if there's anything uh, directed towards me. <laughs> Trader Joe's <laughs> redeemed 500 points. <laughs> love, I love Tony Chicho. Do you think Chelsea Manning is also in danger? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Chelsea is is doing good right now, right? There's there's two two channels uh, on Twitch that have set up that auto host. The only two channels that we auto host on Twitch right now is action for assange which is doing a fantastic job live streaming doing coverage of the julian assange case for a number of years now since they came online like three or four years ago or something like this they've been on on it right reporting documenting doing live streams staying up to date they've done a fantastic job if you if you're not uh subscribe to action for assange they're both on youtube and twitch they've been live streaming on twitch as well but they're not getting they, they haven't got a foothold there i recommend subscribing to them action for assange okay action the number four and assange right uh, we we auto host action for assange and we auto host chelsea manning uh, and she's awesome right she plays games and she's man she's the, she's the coolest chick around right seriously and i'm i'm glad to see her get a nice foothold on twitch and growing right she's got when she got on there when we started auto hosting or she just got on like it was it was like a week right she had like i don't know a few hundred subscribers right so we auto host boom done deal right now she's got like fourteen thousand plus subscribers uh on twitch which is fantastic right uh, but chelsea manning uh, the U.S. is going dark, is on a very, very dark path, right? I'm not sure if Chelsea Manning is even allowed to leave the United States of America. But if I was Chelsea Manning, I would also keep an eye on where, which country Julian Assange is going to go to, okay? And I would move there if I was living in the United States. Really, gang, uh, I hate to say it, but... Uh, it's just the way it is right now right if the state is after you get the fuck out right Graham Canada has historically held a trade deficit with the United States and every year since uh, 1985 in net trade of goods I wonder if this is the only reason Canada does what the US wants currently they're at 12.5 billion which which isn't that much in the grand scheme of things yeah for canada is large but and basically look the way the way canada works okay it for me the, i've traveled to the united states a lot i got family in the united states i used to go to the united states a lot right but i stopped going as of uh 2002 when the patriot act came into full effect and i realized that the united states was in slumber they were hypnotized and they weren't gonna uh, prevent the Patriot Act from being renewed every year or every six months or whatever the hell it is right okay and I used to go to the United States like really anywhere between two to five four or five times a year okay and in 2002 I stopped going okay and I haven't gone to the United States since 2002 uh, but the saying we used to have and I still do less so now to a certain degree but we always used to say that whatever happens in LA, in California, finds its way to Canada in the West Coast anyway, within about five years. So if you want to see the latest trends that get out, and California is, is known for this, right? If, if a trend can get a foothold in California, then it's a multi-billion dollar econo 
business right if you can get a foothold in california then you can export that product outside of california and it will get out there right and usually it found its way to canada within five years okay in the uk i think the concern is journalists on tv general report on utter bs rather than assange type issues agreed uh birdie here and i wouldn't call anyone reporting on cable television on bbc a journalist in the uk they are not journalists they're propagandists okay that's all they are same goes with canada same goes with the united states right they are propagandists if you want real journalism if you want real news real analysis you find independent creators online and follow their work end of story right if you want to know a sampling of some of the people some of the news that we're sharing that we're we're following go to our discord page and we have a news folder we have a politics folder we have a censorship folder we have a cancel culture folder we have a co folder because we're uploading this to youtube uh we're not going to talk about that right but go to our discord page and you'll find a whole bunch of folders channels that you can talk about anything you want and you'll you're going to read a lot of news there that you're not going to find on any cable news network okay news network i bet canada just likes being defended by america there no one's going to invade canada right the only the only the only country that will invade canada is the united states and the united states is not going to invade canada we've passed gone in militarily anyway right but by propaganda huge canada's propaganda is up the yin yang right our, our education system has collapsed in a big way one of the reasons this collapse is because the influence of the united states right um, our political system has been hijacked the evangelical religious movement uh has taken over have has a foothold in canada as well uh it's an invasion of another type right it's an invasion of ignorance okay it's an invasion of fanaticism i'm gonna scroll down gang just to get caught up with chat if there's anything directed towards me please let me know i know there's a lot of people having it you know uh chiming in on the situation young bolax how are you doing uh i feel like people feel uh feel powerless against these pig big i read that as pig elites big elites and that's why they kind of shrug it off uh man you may you have to make a stand at some point you have to ask yourself this right this is one of the best things i ever came across was this it was a quote I can't, i'm paraphrasing I can't, I can't remember exact quotes well and i can't remember who said it but basically the person said this i am standing uh for justice for the truth i am waging this war on the elites on the oligarchs because if i don't do it my children will have to do it and i don't want want my children to have to go through this hardship so i am taking on that responsibility i am taking on that hardship to protect my children for anyone sitting on their ass and allowing these oligarchs these fanatics these monsters to run amok in our nations in our countries in our world in our communities you need to open your eyes because if you give them this much they will take the world and that is exactly what they're doing right now or trying to do right now because people just kept on bending 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 and all of a sudden you're flat ass flat on your ass with their foot stomping down on you right get up stand up right fight for your right Time to cosmic vision, time to pack a fresh one. I'm scrolling down, gang. I'm scrolling down. Ding Baba Chicho. How many of these propagandists are simply puppets unaware and do not actually have the intention to fulfill that role as a propagandist? I.e., they believe what they are doing is good right and don't see it as propaganda. As the saying goes, Ding Bobber. Uh, if they think they're doing the right thing, uh, the road to hell is paved with 
with good intentions that's one way of saying it right the other way of saying it is just because you were told to commit war crimes it doesn't absolve you of the war crimes right throughout history we have prosecuted prosecuted soldiers propagandists like literally what you're asking me during history the winning nations of a conflict have arrested stenographers propagandists of the opposing nation and tried them for war crimes and executed them okay for example in the united states you've had a lot of television journalists uh, one of them was when trump was bombing syria was look at these beautiful missiles flying into the air and killing people basically right that person as far as i'm concerned is not only just a propagandist that person is committing crimes right and a lot of those people propagandists that are ignorant well uh that's ignorance uh of their own choosing right and i really don't think they're ignorant i think they're maybe fanatics and they are uh, willingly doing this and the reason they're doing this is because of money and power right they over what if uh, we try and bend them what happens to things that don't bend they break they break i don't imply these propagandists were innocent just clarifying yeah no they weren't innocent gang i'm all the way down to the bottom of uh, the chat right now okay so i've i skimmed skimmed over a lot of things right now we've linked up a few different sources on our discord page okay if you wanna here let me do discord discord okay if you go to our discord page the politics folder has an interview with nils melsner right the yuan repertoire which is really good and we've linked up some stuff in the general folder because that's since four o'clock this morning that's when we're sharing information there's a few people on there that were uh sharing information and stuff right um so you can get caught up with what's going on the summary of it is this the judge came out and said that no extraditing julian assange to the united states not because he revealed war crimes not because he's a publisher not because he's a journalist not because he has the right to do journalism right but the judge came out and said they're not going to extradite julian assange to the U uk a uh, us because he's on suicide watch and u.s prison system is so horrendous that they can't extradite anyone to such a horrendous condition right okay the u.s government has come out and said they will appeal this decision the odds are the appeal is going to be rejected okay because the only thing they can appeal on is not that the judge came out and said oh a journalist has a right to do journalism and stuff like this right the judge came out and said yeah that's okay to pro prosecute and crucify a journalist and a publisher for revealing war crimes the judge actually okayed that right all the judge said was that they can't send julian assange to the u.s because the prison system is so horrendous so the only thing the u.s government can appeal on is to appeal the decision that the judge made which means to to prove that the u.s prison system is a good system right which a donkey with his ass a head up his ass knows that that's bs everyone knows that the u.s prison system is one of the most horrendous systems out there you can't compare it to china china is horrendous as well right china is way more horrendous than the united states but we don't live in china right we're 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 not dealing with that we have no control over that other than our purchasing power right so the only thing that the united states can appeal is that try to prove that their judicial system the prison system is okay right they can handle being good right 
and everyone knows they can't prove that because like from today if they change the system completely let's say they oh, changed it they improved it as of today if you take decades hundreds of years go back it's horrendous so how long are they going to hold julian assange until the u.s prison system changes to treat people properly for them to be able to extradite julian assange how are they going to prove that the u.s prison system is okay they're not right so even if they appeal and the appeal goes ahead it's going to be knocked down right so julian assange should be freed at some point how long is going to take who knows hopefully he's not assassinated in prison uh, or becomes ill suicided shot back of the head twice right uh, like Gary Webb we're hopeful as Cheryl said it's a hopeful day right but not Obama hopeful where he's mass murdering hundreds of thousands of people real hopeful we have a cause to celebrate right but we got to be on guard okay anybody at all i'm paraphrasing here by by but i think it was uh, grandpa robert anton wilson who said something along the lines quote the whole history of history can be reduced to an ongoing war between secret societies pretty much right and they need they need cannon fodder right so the whole history the whole history of history can be reduced to an uh, to an ongoing war between secret societies right using humanity as cannon fodder right and how are we being used as cannon fodder because we're willingly remaining ignorant of what's going on in the world and in many situations a lot of people have been lie to duped into believing into investing right their heart and soul their money their family their finances their mental and physical health in a system that is completely predatory right so people have to snap out of it wake up wake up system of down right wake up wake up Like burns them all the way fire i think we have aliens the british government i think we've got aliens everywhere elder god uh, laugh out loud tony chicho has assange attempted suicide like manning did if not why is he on suicide why he's because uh the u.n repertoire on torture went there and doctors have gone there and multiple people have gone there from different institutions have said okay julian assange has been tortured julian assange is depressed and from what i understand he's on suicide watch list because in his family there has been incidents history of suicide and depression on this level can be linked there's correlation there and causation right where it can be linked to genetics family genetics right so that's why he's on suicide watch but basically the people going on in interviewing him and uh, uh, questioning him and doing physical analysis mental analysis and stuff like this said yeah he's at risk of suicide right scooty six there should be status built in praise of assange uh, statues built in praise of assange instead he is just he is yet to be a household name and gets tortured as his reward uh scooty six i agree with you but my take on this is that is this these monsters including the judge in the uk okay they have sealed their fate in history where they would be regarded as some of the most horrendous creatures on this planet they will be spat upon right people like julian assange right monuments will be built in praise of them there's monuments already built in praise of Julian Assange online, right? WikiLeaks is a monument in praise of Julian Assange. All these other whistleblowing sites that have come out are in praise of Julian Assange. A lot of 
very beautiful, powerful activists and journalists and publishers and content creators are doing what they're doing in praise of Julian Assange. So these statues, these tributes to Julian Assange don't have to be physical, right? They're, they're now incorporated into our psyche and it's just going to grow because we ain't letting up, right? No way, no how, right? You give them this much, they take the world and you in it, right? You can't give them this much, not anymore. And whatever you have given them, you got to take it all back. We do, we do. Okay. Birdie here. It is all bizarre. It obviously seems it seems UK and US systems are against Assange. They're against humanity. So it's bizarre they are stopping extradition based on that reason. I think what happened, Birdie here, I think what it is, is UK right now, they miscalculated with the lockdowns and stuff like this. UK is on is on is on a tinder is a tinder box right now. Really, it's a it's a it's a tinder box, right? One match and the UK is just gonna go boom, right. The authorities, the enforcers of the government are brutalizing UK citizens, and UK citizens are fighting backs, they're resisting, and we're not talking about arm people we're not talking about this faction it's the the whole uk population is now resisting from children black white brown yellow blue whatever color you want whatever religion you want right whichever part of the uk uh society you want everywhere in the uk uk citizens are rising up i got a feeling they were really afraid what was going to happen to the UK if they decided to extradite Julian Assange. That's my take. Aside from the judge going, I, like, like if I was that judge that was a lackey for the US government and the UK oligarchs and the US oligarchs and probably have been given, because you United States government has uh, what do you call it? Uh, they've stolen a lot of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin specifically, from a lot of different people and institutions over the last 10 years, right? So they're sitting on a fair bit. They say they uh, auctioned off all of it, but they haven't, right? They're sitting on it. So maybe they traverse, transfer Bitcoins anonymously to this judge. I don't, I don't know. This is, you know, everything's my opinion. And I don't mean to slander. It is not slander. This is my opinion. F the judge, right? Even she was scared of extraditing Julian Assange to the United States, right? Maybe she thinks the gig is up, right? Think Bobber, Chicho, quote, Babylon will devour all it can before it self-destructs, haha, <laughs> prophecy. Fisher, Chicho, if this past year has given us anything, it has given us a mass awakening of feelings as feelings of distrust of centralized government i believe that channels like yours have an opportunity to bring to light the atrocities that have been perpetrated by mass massive centralized government and why in the us the founders would be so disappointed in the freedoms we have surrendered for temporary liberty fisher i agree with you 100 percent and it is the duty of independent content creators i don't care what you're creating i realize some people are specialized and they just do pottery right or they just do this but injustice anywhere is injustice where you live right there are certain times in your life you have to stand up if this isn't the time for you to stand up your line is really far off right your line is really far off. I'm not sure when you will stand up, right? But I agree with you. Independent content creators, journalists, publishers, just content creators in general, musicians, artists, live streamers, math teachers, tutors. You have to make a stand, right? You have to make a stand. 
Fisher, I've heard that suicide watch is often used as an excuse for sleep deprivation torture. They're they're allowed to wake you up every yeah indeed they've been waking up Julian Assange every hour every two hours right uh, every hour or whatever periodically they deem fit to make sure they're not dead. Also get to keep the lights on in the room 24/7 so they that they can make sure he's not dead. Yeah, and here's the kicker right fisher who didn't kill himself funny that the most secure prison in the united states a year plus ago someone killed themselves or or killed themselves right basically what's going on is everything that the united states has done and has been doing around the world is coming back to bite them in the ass rightfully so it's called blowback okay zivas chicho i am a young canadian living outside of canada right now what do you think the future holds for people like me is there any hope uh yes there is huge huge in terms of crises turmoil like this there's tremendous amount of opportunity really there's tremendous amount of opportunity first of all i don't know where you live certain places i would not live like i would not live in china you have to, if you if you're in a west if you're a western citizen you got to be out of your mind to live in china right now there is there is a war brewing against china right and these centralized governments have proven that they're not they don't care about human rights like or your standing in the state or your connections and stuff like this why would you put your life at risk there if you're living in iceland right on right you got probably more freedom there than we do in canada right now but there's lots of opportunities out there really we've look we've been we've been i've been creating content for 15 years right and i if you just start at those thousand plus videos i've talked a lot about those opportunities right a lot of them right maybe it's not on the forefront of people's minds or it's not in the our current centralized education system or propagandas cable television and all this crap right but the information is out there seek it out listen to honest opinion like my agenda for sharing the information i've been sharing is not to promote sell a product right other than what i'm creating right my product i'm not paid by anyone else to push their agenda i'm pushing my agenda and my agenda is sincere right so the best advice i can give to anyone not just someone in canada someone in the united states someone here any of you guys listening anywhere around the world stop listening following anything centralized start seeking out and supporting very important seeking out and supporting independent creators not just those that you agree with but also those that share certain truths that make you uncomfortable right that's where you want to be right we have been as a, as a society lulled to sleep it's like boiling a, a, a frog right you don't throw one up boiling water a little jump out you turn up the heat slowly we've been lulled to sleep and the way they've done that is they provided us with the comforts in life right to be dependent on them right that's how we've been lulled to sleep the best place to be for you to know what's going on in the world to be aware to acquire the tools that you need to be able to live your free life that you're entitled to is to live in a situation where you're first of all decentralized you feel a little bit of discomfort right you need you f you you need to seek out information uh contacts certain activities constantly right we humanity 
have to be in a state of wanting right really just think about this right you need to be in a state of wanting my grandfather used to have a saying right he you know you sit around the table people eat right and he would always say don't overeat don't gorge right eat to a level that you're still a little bit a little bit hungry right eat to a level that you're still a little hungry there's two reasons for that one of them is there's still food that you just the last bite you took that hasn't yet your tummy that it will so if you're still a little bit of hungry the odds are in about 10 to 15 minutes you're going to be comfortable right the other reason is if you're still a little hungry you still leave yourself that opportunity to sample something that comes your way that you weren't expecting right that's like personal finance right have a little bit of funds on the side to take advantage of certain opportunities when they come up okay don't consume don't listen to what centralized power tells you to do to live a comfortable life to not have wanting in your life you need to have wanting right not wanting everything but a little bit of a hole there that you need to fill and make sure it flows okay tumble fast chicho what will it take for the left to form a and left to form a broader movement i studied ir and politics for three years and my conclusion has been that the enemy quote the enemy has consistently been better at overcoming their uh, aesthetic differences and focusing on what they share to organize and shape policy we have failed at this since neoliberalism took center stage what does the humanist left movement need in your opinion to finally get over our internal differences and step up on all social uh, societal levels those in the left need exactly the same thing that those in the right do and those in the center do and those outside of the spectrum do that all of humanity do we have to look at each other as human beings not as a category defined by a centralized institution right and realize that that what we need as human beings in our lives is safety without the fear of having another nation bomb the shit out of you right we need education we need housing we need food security right so what we need in our lives right from the left from the right is to be left alone we have to get rid of censorship in all its forms right we need to be left alone be free to express our opinions have dialogue right with each other we need to look at each other and realize what we have in common and there is a lot of commonality there and one of the biggest things that the left and the right and the center and those outside of the spectrum all of humanity have in common is that we need to prosecute war criminals we need to hold power capital as power accountable we need to get um, full control of our monetary and fiscal policies okay i don't care if you're on the left you're on the right and there's more of course those are four things we need to do right we need to prevent wars from starting we need to as as uh, uh Oh, what's his name? One of the greatest uh, historians, Howard uh, Howard Zinn. As Howard Zinn has stated, and man, if you guys haven't listened to Howard Zinn, listen to Howard Zinn. His lectures, read his material, read his articles. I haven't read any of his books, but he's got a uh, books out there. I've listened to a lot of his lectures, his interviews, and I've read his articles. Right, but Howard Zinn said this. Right, there's never a need for war. There's only need for insurrection, 
right? So if you live in a country and your government says we have to go bomb the crap out of another nation to free their people, right there, you hit the streets, general strike, shut it down, get rid of those people in power because you don't bring freedom with bombs. Okay. So those are some of the things we need. What we need on the left and the right and the center and outside of the spectrum at all for humanity need is not to look at the minute little differences between ourselves. We, we shouldn't look at the micro. We need to look at the macro, the larger picture and realize there's so much there that needs correcting that our little differences can be put aside, right? That's what we need. And that's not going to take a year to do that's going to take decades to unfold let's say we start that from today right the left and the right and the center and those outside the spectrum all of humanity comes together and says we stand together right let's say we the movement starts today it's going to take minimum 30 years to undo the damage done in the last 100 years at least right in 30 years we can talk about the little differences. You void. Okay, yo, let's go. Am I late? You are late, brother. You are late. Arkin aside. Huh? I'm scrolling down, gang. I go off on tangents or rants and I miss a lot of the chat. Howard Zinn is absolutely amazing. Max Decker says, I'm down the bottom of chat, gang. Okay. Elder God. Actually, there is a, a lot of dissension in china at the moment between the population indeed and between uh, some of the oligarchs in china right supposedly one of the richest people in the world has gone missing in china because he opposed what the central central state was doing right really gang i know it appears right that based on central propaganda and these propagandists and education and how it appears like the world is going to shit but that's not really what's taking place the world is self-correcting to go in a more more positive direction what we're seeing happen right now there is so much positive going on so much positive going on gang i've been in this in this game for th three decades right just sh talking politics economics going to peace rallies talking about a doing this right i've never seen so many people agree on what is wrong with our societies right everybody agrees the centralization of power is m most people agree that centralization of power is what the main catalyst that has brought us to the brink of collapse right most people agree that we have to take power away from oligarchs and wall street and the bankers and the pharmaceutical companies right and the food uh military industrial food complex and agricultural complex and the prison systems and all of these stuff right and all of it is centralized power everybody now agrees that we need to decentralize i've never seen this before and decentralization is the thing that is going to see us into the next phase of humanity it's not centralization it's decentralization okay vote with your wallet gang right do you do you have a disney account disney plus account do you have uh and you know amazon or amazon but do you have do you have accounts right do you, are you paying your paying spending your money in these central institutions that are taking away your freedoms then stop giving them money right stop giving them money any artist that comes up and says yeah we need to centralize more power and i disagree with people sharing my music or sharing my art or uh speaking badly against hollywood or wall street or boycott their crap right because they're taking your freedoms away right if they're trying to bring in more extend the copyright laws right with these trade agreements where they're trying to put what was supposed to be going into the public domain as of today 
and they're gonna say it's gonna go into the public domain 25 years now from now even if that happens right then uh, fight against those corporations that are supporting these bills right right the holistic view not the view of the fragmentation which was invented uh, by thought itself yeah. lich theme i can't even pronounce that oh that's the guy sorry about the link what was the link howard's in howard's in indeed elder god yeah i see it with wiki yeah howard's in that says yeah he's amazing gang listen to howard's in speeches bezos give give my money back bezos give my money back that's him cheryl says yeah howard's in hi you all emily how are you doing uh so that's the quick update on julian assange gang it, it is cause for celebration it is cause for celebration okay i'm happy for assange i'm happy for his partner okay i'm happy for the people working at wikileaks right however this hasn't um the decision is not that the u.s government and the uk government were wrong in uh arresting uh persecuting julian assange and trying to extradite him and take his life the decision was not that they were wrong in doing this which means the door is left open for the united states and uk and anyone else to um go after other journalists and some of the people that they might go after first people might be the publisher of wikileaks right now and the people who've been working for wikileaks right now or other journalists less uh prominent people right so we need to get people mobilized right there has to be uh decentralized organizations out there sort of cells out there that if any centralized nation comes after journalists we can mobilize like this right shut them down right it's like the comic book legal defense fund right so comic book legal defense fund was created to fight against censorship in comic books right so there are people that donate money to the comic book legal defense fund and they have lawyers um that work for them and they have a platform where they share information and artists and creators actually do work for them to publish work where they raise money so that's a, an organization ready to go right we need to create those kinds of organizations to defend journalists ready to go not the ones not not the ones that step back from defending julian assange all of them can go to hell right if there are any journalists any uh publishers any propagandist news channels that you listen to anybody you follow that trash talk julian assange that didn't defend julian assange from day one or not even day one because we saw what's her name um uh, the alaskan uh uh governor or what's her name that she's right wing she ran as the vice president for mccain when he was running uh running for the president uh, uh oh i forget her name uh she came out and apologized for thinking assange was a bad guy and she came out in defense of julian assange last week right huge 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 so anybody that's willing to turn and say look i was an idiot right palin yeah uh what's her first name palin uh, i forget uh, uh, sarah palin cheryl thank you sarah palin came out and said six years ago she thought julian assange was a bad guy and she was full on for uh arresting him prosecuting him bring him to extradite him to the united states and putting him on trial and throw him in jail throwing him key probably she was in support of droning him to death right she came out like a week ago two weeks ago three weeks ago and then the last month to say i'm sorry i was an idiot i was i misjudged the situation right and she didn't say i was an idiot she said i was misinformed i misjudged the situation and i was wrong julian assange needs to be defended sarah palin sarah palin 
just rose up in the ranks of people that I have respect for. Huge. I, like I had no respect for her before. Now I have respect for her because she came out and stood for truth and justice, right? For all those people in the left that are supporting these people in the left that have come out and said, yeah, Julian Assange needs to be uh, prosecuted like Andrew Yang. Yang, yeah, Julian Assange needs to be, uh, he did wrong and he should be come and face, face his crimes. F Andrew Yang, right? Or uh, AOC, who hasn't said a beep about Julian Assange, saying Julian Assange should be uh, left alone. He's a journalist and publisher. Palin, more respect than AOC. Oh, look, people are going to freak out on that one, right? Because AOC has a cult following. Uh, AOC, what are you guys talking about? Where is she standing up for justice? Where is she standing up for uh, uh, for force to vote? Where was she when she came out and said, yeah, Venezuela should should have a coup and get rid of their elected leader, right? That's where she was. She was supportive of that, right? So anybody, really, uh, no holds barn. You can't give them this much because you give them this much, they take the world. Anybody that you're following, anybody that you think you have respect for, you have respect for, that you trust their opinion, if they haven't defended Julian Assange, they are garbage. If they're involved in politics and economics and politicians or whatever, right? In newscasters, journalists, right? If they haven't come out and publicly defended Julian Assange, they are garbage. And that's the way you should treat them, right? And if you want to know where they stand, force them, force them to tell you their opinion, right? If they're on any platform, Parler, Twitter, Gab, Minds, LO, VK, YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey, if they're on any platform and you don't know where they stand on Julian Assange, ask them, where do they stand on Julian Assange? Where do they stand on truth? Where do they stand on war crimes? Because their stance on Julian Assange will reveal everything you need to know about them. If they think war criminals should be prosecuted, if they think there's justice, there's morality, right? It'll tell you everything you want to know about them. If they're a dumb dumb or if they're paid propagandists, okay? If they're not smart enough to realize what the Julian Assange case is about, why do you support them and why do they have power right do they have power because these oligarchs know they're just puppets right stop supporting puppets okay it we have a responsibility to wake the f up wake up wake up lich lich them Lich Thimbleus, thank you, sir. Thank you for your insight. Thank you. For, thank you that you were. Uh, I, look, I, I'm doing this out of self preservation as well, right? Really, I'm doing this out of self preservation because I want to live on this planet in peace. I want my family to live in peace, right? I've put out whispered readings soft spoken readings of of wikileaks releases of vault 7 guantanamo bay files and uh opcw uh, leaks right doesn't mean that the u.s government can come after me for sharing this information right and i put them out in asmr format so they're under the umbrella of the arts right of education Right. Oh, I shouldn't put it in education, but of the arts. Right. So I'm protected on that front. Right. There is a rhyme and reason of the way I've done things. And the, the way I've done things is has a long term perspective in mind. And by the way, gang, when I said, look at the macro, don't look at the micro. Like, don't let these powers play with you like this. Don't be a reactionary. Right. Understand the long game at play right there are certain situations that you have to take a stand but make sure everything you do works together right that has a long uh, view of what's going on 
Naya Fett, are, are, are we still in the race of the good guys? Sorry for my question. Uh, I, I think, yeah, I think we're the good guys. Pretty sure we're the good guys. I know we're the good guys. Roland Red, 90% of people you ask, quote, what is your stance on Julian Assange? Their response will be, who is Julian Assange? Then educate them, right? Then educate them. That is that is the responsibility. The problem is there are people who know who Julian Assange is, and many of them on the left, right, who fell for this Russiagate BS, and they considered Julian Assange to be the enemy, and they were looking forward, they were promoting, they were in support of Julian Assange being extradited, right? All those people are not on the left, they're just brainwashed. They were propagandized to. They were dum dums right they need to be educated and a lot of them have woken up if sarah palin can wake up from her slumber anybody can wake up from their slumber okay it just takes time right and for those of us that understand what's going on to make a stand and if they decide to talk about julian assange in a slanderous way I go hard on their asses right I, I lay it on them and there's a there's a few people that I've known uh, that I've talked to that have tried trash talking WikiLeaks and Julian Assange and defending war criminals and I go ballistic on them man and some of those people they're now they don't consider me as a close friend as they used to because they don't understand and that is okay with me if their ignorance takes them to a level where they're willing to distance themselves from a friend then that's their issue in the future they'll understand just like people that wake up 20 30 years later and they realize oh my god i'm a banker what have i done <laughs> right What exactly did uh, Julian Assange reveal to us, uh, Creep and Lenny? He revealed war crimes. Huge, huge. He revealed that the invasion of Iraq, the U.S. military, has been executing people, uh, innocent people, journalists, and knowingly doing it. And when they do it, they lie about it, right? WikiLeaks has revealed information where people have been able uh, have been arrested and taken to court and charged for crimes they have committed against humanity against their populations right wikileaks has revealed torture wikileaks revealed uh, brought transparency of power where we saw all the different games at play right WikiLeaks revealed a lot of information that took place in Ukraine, right? WikiLeaks revealed to us that the DNC, the Democrats, screwed over the American population, right? And the world population. WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks, what does WikiLeaks do? This is what WikiLeaks and Julian Assange have done. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, please see our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist. And if you click on that link that you see, that'll take you to the playlist. WikiLeaks revealed that the CIA, the NSA, had back doors to every device, right? almost every device wikileaks revealed to us through vault 7 that the cia the nsa can mask their signatures to do things online include including acts of terrorism and mask that signature in a way that it looks like the signal was coming from a different source than them right so wikileaks revealed to us that they can frame countries and once they frame countries 
with a cyber terror attack that means wars can begin and once wars begin we're talking about millions of people hundreds of thousands of people dying millions of people tens of thousands untold number of people dying and becoming refugees displaced right wikileaks has revealed more about uh the crimes of central power than any other institution publisher journalist has ever done in human history what wikileaks of julian assange have done is unprecedented okay they have brought back transparency of power to humanity unbelievable extremely important it is up to us to now bring back accountability of power to humanity and that's up to me and you wikileaks and julian assange can only bring transparency we need to bring the accountability it's a pa -pa combination punch right oligarch means basically uh the elites those who rule over us and those who need to be uh removed from power man i'm thankful for your out output <laughs> thank you that's how i want to show my my pleasure my pleasure and thank you for the love i appreciate it lich blue blah blah blue i don't know how to pronounce your name if there's an easier way let me know there's a difference between answers and reactions i'm scrolling down gang we need to drop that uh catchphrase which catchphrase da, 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 da. we need to drop oligarch elder god you say let's bring it up on discord let me know i'm willing to use the right words uh legendary rob boss how are you doing i think many americans they would support the pardoning of edward stone but julian assange is a hard sell harder sell since he is not an american citizen can the president even pardon assange really and the the kicker is even if snowden and assange are pardoned it means according to the state they committed crimes but they didn't commit crimes humanity should celebrate edward stone and julian assange they don't they don't need pardoning the war criminals need to be prosecuted and julian assange and wikileaks need to be apologized to and reparations paid to okay sure it would be amazing if snowden and assange are pardoned right that's cause for celebration but that's cause for celebration on them on an individual level where we are in terms of our battle to bring freedom back to humanity we're still in the same place right by the way gang apologies if i haven't mentioned this but thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussion thank you for being here thank you for the conversations and mods thank you for watching over us and taking care of business uh i should mention the thank yous for the follows and the subs uh, more often but i get engaged in the conversation i want to make sure we're talking about uh the issue at hand right i just don't think it's ever going to happen for assange snowden probably hopefully side to side b side a side b when you say capital is power does that essentially mean capital equals power in our society it does capital equals power right now right and it depends on what type of capital uncharted days caitlin johnson caitlin johnson i really like uncharted days she's she's a warrior right caitlin johnson has has wrote an article debunking assange smears back last year that is worth reading if you haven't indeed and we've we've linked that article up a lot and gang if you're not reading caitlin johnson i don't I, I i used to read everything she put out and we're sort of on the same mindset and when i was doing writing blogging talking about current events the types of articles i have written i would have written uh now 
uh, and I have written in the past, were more along the lines of Caitlin Johnson's. So she resonates with me. Uh, I don't agree with everything she says, but she's a warrior, right? Awesome. Uh, and she deserves uh, full respect for what she's doing, right? She's pissing off everyone, rightfully so, because everybody needs pissing off right now right positive 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 i think it's rather they just end the extradition process but people have been calling it a pardon just easier to say and people understand what's uh getting across okay my chart is oh my grammar in my last comment it worked out for me i think i read everything in the right way the 2020 redeem 1000 points by the way gang regarding these points Keep in mind, at some point this year, we're going to do an auction where you can bid on certain items. We did it last year. I had comic books, jam, and honey, and a book uh, by DM Turner that we put up for auction. And people were bidding, and then uh, the points, and whoever won would redeem those points. And you just PM me your address, and I would send those items out to you, right? So thank you for redeeming the points. But if you want to participate in the auction at some point later on this year, um, uh, we do. Okay. You might want to hold on to those. Once you wake up, it's time to grow up. Yeah. Once you wake up, it's time to grow up. Indeed. And that's one thing everyone should do as soon as you graduate high school or university. Take two years off, two years off and wake up because you've just been propagandized for a number of years, right? Indoctrinated amazing background as always she shot <laughs> i'm glad you like i like my space we got a new toy by the way right uh it seems impossible for you not to have uh cozy about coziness is good coziness is good uh clears the mind right okay i'm gonna watch the assange playlist need to educate myself on this awesome laugh out loud tony there's a lot there by the way what's up chicho felix how are you doing i'm not too up to date on assange stuff could you give me a quick summary a uh, quick summary on assange uh the judge came out said that they're not going to extradite julian assange to the united states and she she said the reason they're doing it is because julian assange is on suicide watch list a suicide watch and because the u.s uh, uh, prison system is so horrendous in good conscience the uk cannot extradite anyone to the united states uh especially in the mental and physical state that julian assange is in because their their life would be in jeopardy so that's sort of a decision uh on the u.s prison system saying that the u.s prison system is on the level of a third world at best standards where you can't extradite anyone to the united states right uh, basically saying that US prison system is completely colla collapsed she didn't say they can't extradite Julian Assange to the United States because he was right in doing journalism and publishing okay and he did no wrong in revealing war crimes and uh, releasing the information that he did right because that's what a journalist and a publisher does right so that's where we are right now he's still in jail where the bail healing hearing i believe is on wednesday okay so we'll find out i believe on wednesday if bail is going to be set at a certain amount uh, to get him out right hopefully there will be bail so bail julian assange right and i believe the united states has until january 15th to appeal the decision and they've already come out and said that they're going to appeal the decision but their appeal of the decision is going to be based on them saying that no the u.s prison system is okay to extradite someone like julian assange to the united states right so they're not going to they can't appeal the any of the decisions any of the things they tried them for because the judge said yeah julian assange is guilty of those but they can't extradite him because his health is at risk because the u.s prison system is garbage so the only thing the united states can do is to appeal the decision to prove that the u.s prison system is okay but everybody knows that it's not right 25 uh, percent of the world's prison population is in the united states but the u.s only holds five percent of the world's populace right something like that the 
further song on System of a Down said this in the early 2000s, right? And everybody knows this stat now. So the appeal is going to be dropped or they're going to lose. So they're just going to try to keep Julian Assange in prison for as long as they can, in jail for as long as they, they can, right? If bail is denied, the U.S. government is going to continue the case and they're going to hope that Julian Assange dies in prison. So will the U.K. government actually, right? If bail is set, Julian Assange's life will still be in danger because he'll be under constant surveillance and the U.S. government, the U.K. government will try to assassinate him. That's a given, right? And his family's life is at risk. His wife and his children's life is at risk because the U.K. government, the U.S. government, well, we know the U.S. government will try to possibly assassinate them as well because precedent has already been set during the Obama administration. The Obama administration assassinated the American teenager, okay, because they were going after his father. So they killed his father, I think, the day before, and then they drone striked an American teenager sitting at a cafe at a table with a whole bunch of other kids they assassinated a, a, a kid because they were going after his father so julian assange's kids are in danger as well and as well as the rest of his family as well as uh, other journalists and publishers all around the world because the uk government didn't come out and say u.s government f off you have no right to ask for extradition of journalists and publishers because you don't like what they published right that's where we are felix a quick summary i'm going to scroll down gang uh, let's see if there's anything directed towards me all of that said gang this is po case for celebration okay so salute salute everyone cheers to julian assange cheers to all the independent journalists all the independent creators anybody that defended julian assange defended wikileaks spoke out against this persecution of julian assange right against crucifying a journalist and publisher for doing the right thing right salute to all of us because this is a good day okay and there will be many many more and julian assange of course today is a good day today is a good day salute sir thank you <laughs> They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison for me. Vault 7. Milky Provider. Vault 7 made me feel mixed. On one hand, it had cringe, uh, cringe things like guides on impersonating teen girls online, but it also talked about remote control of internet enabled cars, which is. Monkas, I don't know what Monkas is, but yeah, Vault Seven was huge. That's one of the reasons um, we've talked about. I've written about and talked about Julian Assange before, creating our first Julian, first WikiLeaks and Julian Assange uh, video, right? But there's a reason why I decided. I believe we started with that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, vault 7 reading whispering of vault 7 reading in asmr format was the first reading i did of wikileaks releases and there's a reason i did that because that is extremely important and it's multi-layer that was just one layer of it right elder god i wish oh elder god you're going dry for january there seems to be a fair bit of people going dry for january listen to you from spain jeff 4000 what a wise person you are we we need more more of you big hug big hug right back at spain jeff and thank you for the love and the trust i uh, I'm, I'm trying to do my best that that's 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 all we can say and i still 
hold myself accountable i still make mistakes there's people that call me out on discord but they participate in discussions and i learn a lot from these discussions and reading articles and stuff and gang know this you should be in constant permanent education mode right the centralized state will say oh congratulations you got your high school degree congratulations you got your college diploma university degree you got your master's phd whatever it is congratulations you're done educating yourself you're not done education is a part of your life we need to maintain that constantly okay so that's what i try to do and i try to share as much as i can okay cyber npc do you think there's a justice there's there is a justice in the world i think there's justice in the world yeah i don't know if there's a justice i don't think you meant to say yeah uh but yeah there's justice in the world but not always and there's a lot of injustice in the world we we don't have an absolute case of anything it's not the world is not completely unjust and the world is not completely just it's what we make of it if we push for more justice we will get more justice right salvador salvador dali once said equals i don't need drugs i am the drug <laughs> i've been to this uh, dali museum by the way and jeff i've been to spain i had a great time in spain spain is a i love Sp i love spain the warm culture and just the openness right unfortunately there's a lot of fascism in spain there's a lot of fascism in all of europe really and huge chunks of the world but i love my time in spain and salvador dali museum fantastic i went and got myself uh some moroccan goodies and uh before the dali museum opened up i went and sat on a bench uh i forget which town uh, the dali museum is in. it's just uh, off uh, barcelona a little bit further up uh went and sat on a bench rolled myself a fatty and uh spent uh, the better part of the day at the dali museum it was fun i like dali monka monka s is an emote is it oh okay milky provider words are a weapon and sentences a shield ha <laughs> ha that's a great said that's a great saying elder god words are a weapon and sentences a shield nice that is a simple rule to never give up on learning never give up on learning if this is true imagine what an essay could do cheryl i was thinking about that too that's a great well i'm gonna read the elder god's statement and uh cheryl's statement together uh so words are a weapon and sentences are a shield and if this is true imagine what an essay could do we need to we need to we need to put that on a t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> chicho quote bring freedom back to humanity uh, would love to hear elaboration on this turn of phrase and your words on humanity's struggle for freedom throughout throughout our history in my mind there has rarely been a time when the general populace has not been suppressed by centralized power in some way sorry for repost think i uh, got the tag wrong um uh, last time no worries uh mad ellis he, here's the thing i agree with you centralized power has continuously tried to repress humanity right however we're at a state right now where the repression is reaching a certain critical point right now how we bring back uh how we bring freedom back to humanity or how we bring because humanity's been around for hundreds of thousands of years right so back in the tribal times there was freedom right but as industrialization took power took root and as centralized institutions governments became the thing the norm right with monarchs and kings and all this stuff right and different systems isms in play that's basically more and more centralization of power so there was freedom for humanity a long long time ago right but that freedom went away as more power became centralized so the way we bring freedom back to humanity is we decentralize power one of the main things that we need to do to decentralize power is to have a control over our data 
The way we have control over our data is we have anonymity, right? So one thing we need 100% is anonymity. The other thing we need is privacy. Privacy and anonymity could be categorized as one thing, but privacy, anonymity, privacy, okay? We need to eliminate censorship in all its forms. We need to have open dialogue, right? Open discourse, right? So we need anonymity. We need privacy. We need to eliminate censorship. The next few things we need are more related to how economics has played out, right? And the first place we have to hit is control of monetary policy, okay? Which means we have to have control over our money, which is where blockchain technology comes into place, which is why centralized powers are trying to digitize, uh, uh, eliminate cash and create digital currency so they can track everything, right? And if we lose our anonymity, if we lose the ability to speak our mind, right? If we're silenced, then we've lost our freedom. We need to do those things to bring freedom back to humanity. And by the way, gang, the way we provide anonymity, privacy to humanity is through mathematics. It's not by passing laws saying, oh, this company can't track you, this cannot. It should be as Julian Assange has said, as a lot of other people have said, by design, anonymity online should be in there by design. It isn't right now. It needs to be put there. So we're talking about reformatting a lot of things. And this, in turn, is going to kick us into, if it happens or when it happens, it's going to kick us into a new major sort of a gold rush era of huge economic growth huge economic growth and we're going to see a lot of legacy system collapsing and rightfully so they should collapse okay that's the quick version right nefiat there was another one in spain who did place uh, a park there uh, Jeff 4000 fascism is back hope people react before it is, it is too late or as a philosopher said the only antidote antidote to popularism is to suffer it <laughs> yeah antidote to populism is to suffer it I would I would say I don't know if populism is the right word I would say fascism uh, centralization of power uh, because once people and gang it goes back to central power lulling us to sleep and then they pull the rug from under us right which they have done with the lockdowns they lull everyone to sleep go to sleep go to sleep boom surprise you're all screwed rise up rise up wake up wake up right yeah if you ever see people in chat saying things uh like manka s or sour they are all emos which you need a chrome extension called bttv to see ah that's what it is okay milky provider thank you thank you wealth distribution who's wealth we, we need to fix our economics the economics is ridiculous <laughs> really like and the uprising should have occurred in 2008 all right the uprising should have occurred in 2008 no one's taking my pound balloon hands media i've been so uh apprehensive about putting myself onto twitch i've i've streamed a bit in the past but out current environment has me a bit scared uh deep fakes and such yeah it's it's up to you you have to uh, do things that you're comfortable with but also challenge yourself uh, and you might get in trouble for it be prepared if they whisper to you that you can't withstand the storm whisper back i am the storm ah, i love that elder god if they whisper to you that you can't withstand the storm whisper back i am the storm are you saying the lockdowns are the path to fascism 100 percent us to sleep lull us to sleep and then pull the rug yeah 
I'd say misinformation is a path to fascism. I think the lockdowns are part of the misinformation. Right? Nature revenge. <laughs> Funny. Gang, good update. Should we call the stream? Let's call the stream. We're going to be doing a meditation stream tonight. Okay. I think we're starting either at 9 or 9.30 p.m. About 12 hours from now. Okay. So 11 to 12 hours from now, we're going to do Qigong standing meditation again. Uh, lockdown is misinformation in physical form for me. Yeah, well, with me too as well. All right. Uh, so we're going to do meditation tonight. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussions. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for sharing the information. Mods, thank you as always for being here. Um, aside from that gang cheers to julian assange cheers to everyone that was hoping that uh, uh, a positive ruling would occur today and a positive ruling did occur today okay aside from that uh my closing uh i'm out for now thank my pleasure thank you for being here again okay that is late for yeah i know for europe you guys are going to be early in the morning and but the standing meditation um uh, I do it in the evening because it calms the mind and it allows me uh, to have a restful sleep and I do stretch uh, afterwards a little bit and stuff so it, it's really it's feeling really good for the body like really my sleeps are 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 way calmer now and I've been doing it now for like I guess 14 days a couple of weeks now um, I'll give you guys a lowdown tonight on it but the person that taught this to me who's a tai chi shigong uh, shigong instructor and stuff and he's been doing martial arts for three decades now um he said that a lot of people do the standing meditation in the morning because it energizes them right uh so if you're waking up early uh in europe uh getting an early day you want to do meditation it's a good time to do meditation in the morning too if you want to if you want to get uh energized what is solution to the migration migrating spread if we eliminate lock the uh, mitigating spread uh, you can't mitigate spread the spreads already done it's like trying to get piss out of pool water you, you can't get piss out of pool water you can't put a you, you you can't have people pissing in a pool and then bring cubes and then par par partition off a, a certain amount of block of the water and say oh we're we're containing the piss it doesn't work someone pisses in pool water the it's it goes in it's done right it's the way it works gang aside from that if you want to know who i am i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o okay if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so everything's layered on mathematics okay i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share like if you like this work patreon is a great way to support this project and for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this, that we're finding ourselves here doing what it is that we are doing. So again, thank you very much for the support. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. Okay, if you wanna participate in the chat, Twitch is where you wanna be at. And again, gang, thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for participating in discussion thank you for being here thank you for the discourse and mods thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gab and twitter and we do have a discord page where we share a lot of information we got like almost 600 people there right now it's sort of like a forum now uh, where we got a lot of different folders and a lot of different channels where people are talking about a lot of different things traffic cone girth chicho a very happy new year to you and your family lad my wife's boyfriend highly suggested this content cheers mate cheers brother a happy new year to you and yours as well i hope all of us everyone including julian assange and his family has a fantastic fantastic new year and the gang salute to julian's mom and dad we will be uploading the audio to this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho 
as a podcast and the audio should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video this live stream to both BitChute and youtube and if you want to support this work on those platforms you can subscribe you can follow you can comment you can share you can like you can turn on notifications guaranteed to get your notifications through BitChute, not so much through youtube but if you are on youtube you want to support this work you can join youtube membership there's a button there and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang it is because of support we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do this and continue to build our content and open up the dialogue and discourse gang i hope you have a fantastic day today was a good day see you tonight gang bye everyone